These adorable buff balls with plum tails and fox-like faces are one of the most famous toy dog breeds in the world. Pomeranians, or Poms for short, are perky and friendly dogs. The Pomeranian first came from Iceland, but they were largely bred and developed in Pomerania, a small area that encompasses parts of Germany and Poland. This dog may look adorable and angelic, but they can also be fearless. Despite their small stature, the Pomeranian will take on a dog twice its own size. This breed is definitely interesting, which is why they're one of the most popular ones according to the American Kennel Club. There are a lot more fascinating facts about the Pomeranian and we'll talk about them in a bit. In today's video, we are going to talk about the 10 facts you should know before bringing home a Pomeranian. Make sure to stick around for the number one fact about the Pomeranian because it's something I bet you probably never heard about. Let's get started. Number 10. They once pulled sleds and herded a reindeer. The modern-day Pomeranian is small in size, but this wasn't always the case. Palms are actually Spitz-type dogs. This breed is related to dogs like the Samoyeds, Huskies, Malamutes, and Akitas, which all come from Arctic regions. It is to no surprise that the first Pomeranians have the same tasks as these dogs, which is pulling sleds and herding reindeer. They used to weigh as much as 20 to 30 pounds, but because they were bred down in size, the Pomeranian remained small since. History has it that the first Pomeranian descended from the German Spitz. The name of the breed originates from Pomerania, which is the region of Northern Europe where they were first bred. This place was then credited for breeding the original standard for Pomeranians. The breed slowly spread to Europe and across the Atlantic, and in 1888, the American Kennel Club registered the first Pomeranian and it was officially recognized in 1900. Number 9. Queen Victoria meddled with the breed's evolution. Queen Victoria loved Pomeranians. Because of her fascination with the breed, Pomeranians became a common pet in that era. As mentioned before, Poms used to be big dogs but were sized down. Queen Victoria is responsible for the dog's evolution. When she bought one from her vacation in Florence, Italy, she focused on creating a small version of it to serve as a lap dog. Queen Victoria became a devoted breeder and exhibitor of Pomeranians ever since. At the 1891 Crafts Dog Show, she showcased six of her breeds. One of her favorites, Windsor Marco, won first place in the breed. Of course, it would have needed a brave judge to put her in second place. Because of her dedication on breeding the dog, the queen was credited for reducing the palm size from about 30 pounds to their current toy stature. According to reports, upon the queen's death, Turi, her favorite Pomeranian, kept vigil at the foot of her bed. Number 8. They come in 13 colors. Most dogs only have one or two colors, but the Pomeranian begs to differ. The American Kennel Club has recognized that the breed comes in 13 different color combinations. These colors include orange, red, white, black, merle, wolf sable, chocolate, blue, cream, brindle, black and tan, beaver, and tricolored. The orange Pomeranian has ranked first on the popularity list and there's a fair chance that you've already seen one. In fact, they're so famous that when people think of this breed, they automatically associate it as an orange-colored dog. Orange Pomeranians are usually pale as puppies. It's fascinating to see them turn into bright orange puffballs as they mature. You must be wondering why they come in so many colors. Well, Pomeranians descended from Spitz dogs which are pure white, light cream, and light gray colored. Black was likely introduced by the German Spitz. As breeding developed, recessive genes created more color combinations. That's why we have tons of colors to choose from and you can even get one depending on your lifestyle or fashion choices. If you're fond of wearing white clothing, then get yourself a white Pomeranian as shedding fur will remain hidden. The same concept goes for people who love to wear black, who are best suited for black Pomeranians. No matter what Pomeranian color you choose, we're sure that this dog will be a lovely companion. Number 7. Throwback Pomeranians are still being born today. 
Occasionally, Pomeranians that resembles their ancestors are born. These are known as throwback Pomeranians. The standard weight of a purebred Pom is around 3 to 7 pounds. Throwback Pomeranians are much bigger than this. They can weigh as much as 18 to 20 pounds, which is way more than the average breed. Some might even say that the throwback palm size is four times bigger than what is expected. This dog is not very common and they just randomly born into litters, usually on the colored bloodlines. Their behavior and temperament doesn't deviate from the typical breed. Throwback Pomeranians have lesser health issues. The bigger the Pomeranian is, the more advantage they have on living a healthy life. Overall, throwback Pomeranians will always be a surprise as they are definitely unpredictable. Number 6. They were adored by iconic people Nobody's surprised why this breed is loved by all. Pomeranians have inspired classical artists like Mozart and Chopin. Mozart is said to have dedicated one of his arias or expressive melodies to his loving Pomeranian Pimperl, and when Chopin observed his friend's Pomeranian joyfully chasing its own tail, he was inspired to create the waltz of the little dogs. One Pomeranian even observed as Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel. This gifted painter and sculptor owned a dog of this breed, and historians say that it sat on a satin pillow as its master worked. The 26th President of the United States, Teddy Roosevelt, also happened to own a Pomeranian named Jem. In a letter to his son Kermit, Roosevelt talked much about his mother's bonding time with the dog. Sadly, because Jem was misbehaving, the president passed it down to his uncle. Number 5. Palms can get black skin disease Just like us humans, our dogs can also suffer from skin diseases. There are records of Pomeranians who experienced the alopecia X or black skin disease disorder. This condition makes them have bad odor, hair loss, and blackened skin. Additionally, this disease is commonly found in the male palms. Other breeds that experience this are Siberian Huskies, Chow Chows, and Miniature Poodles. Going back to the palm though, it is unclear what causes the black skin disease to develop in them. Studies have shown that it can be linked to hormonal imbalances, allergies, and genetic factors. Number 4. A palm named Jif once held two world records. If you're looking for the most followed dog on the planet, then meet Jif Palm. This dog is a small and adorable Pomeranian that has 9 million followers on Instagram and holds two Guinness World Records. One of his records is credited to his speed. Specifically, it was for the fastest 10-meter run on hind legs at 6.56 seconds, and the other for the fastest 5-meter run on front legs at 7.76 seconds. And the second record is for being featured in Katy Perry's Dark Horse music video. Both of these were set in 2015, but his record for speed in the fastest front paw run was beaten by a mixed breed. Pets of the Net, an online calculator created by pet food brand Webox, suggests that Jif Palm makes about $5.6 million a year. Number 3. They can change colors as they age. A lot of Pomeranian puppies will most likely change color as they grow. It can be very minimal or extremely dramatic, but usually, your Pomeranian puppy's coat color will change. For example, a brown palm could turn into a bright orange one, while a cream-colored one might end up as white or brown. You can't pinpoint which puppies will change colors as they mature and which ones will not. But some breeders claim that the color behind your palm's ears is the best indication of what their final color will be. When your Pomeranian puppy is around 4 to 6 months, they will start to lose their puppy coat as their adult coat develops in stages. Fur tends to fall out on this face and it's quite normal to see some patchy or bald spots in them. Dog lovers tend to call this puppy uglies. However, when your little Pomeranian gets over this face, you'll get two coats of lush fur. Number 2. Two Pomeranians survived the sinking of the Titanic. Because only first-class passengers were allowed to bring dogs on the voyage, only 12 canines were able to board the Titanic. 
Out of the 12 dogs, only three survived as they were small enough to be smuggled into lifeboats. Two of them were Pomeranians and one was a Pekingese named Sun Yat Sen who belonged to the Harpers, of publishing firm Harper and Row. Elizabeth Rothschild owned one of the palms and she refused to board the lifeboat without her furry companion. Another Pomeranian named Lady belonged to Margaret Bextein Hayes who wrapped her dog in a blanket before boarding the lifeboat. There are plenty of heartbreaking stories about the Titanic, but for dog lovers, the thought of dogs drowning in freezing water is beyond devastating. Number 1. They can give birth to twins and have two pups from two different fathers. Palms can give birth to twins which is a rare occurrence among dogs. Pomeranian twins share the same umbilical cords yet they have their own individual embryonic sacs. Because Pomeranian twins can be born with different colors, it's hard to know if they're actually twins unless you're a witness to their birth. So how does one know? Like we mentioned before, twins share the same umbilical cord, so if this is the case, then they are Pomeranian twins. As if this isn't an astounding fact, we'll add a bonus that'll knock you off your chair. Did you know that Palm Dams, a mother Pomeranian, can carry two pups from two different fathers? It's amazing and scary at the same time, isn't it? Well, you better believe it because it's scientifically proven. This phenomenon is called dual siring. This is purely accidental and not done on purpose. When a palm dam in heat ties with two separate sires within three days, dual siring may happen. The pregnancy will appear normal though, only DNA testing will determine which puppy belongs to which male. That's about it for Pomeranian Dogs 101, the top 10 facts you should know. We hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below which fact about the Pomeranian surprised you most, or if we missed anything you think should have made the list. If you enjoyed this video, here's another one that you might like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.